did you feel like that was a helmet to helmet hit on Raymond that should have been called? I didn't see helmet to helmet, but I did see shoulder to the net. I mean, I don't know what's the ruling with that. I'm, I don't know if that's unnecessary roughness. I'm not sure. I, th I feel like the guy was defenseless. So if he's defenseless and you hit him in the head or, show in head or neck, it should be a flag. So that, that's what I said. Right. He's going to get some. Right. Yeah, I, th I, th I thought in the first half, we was, thought we was assault in the middle of the pocket. We was getting him off his spot. He was... uh. Making some big plays. Uh, Roby had a couple sacks as well, so he played pretty great. I think in the second half he got into a little groove and he was able to make some some hell of a throws. I think some guys made some great catches. Uh, a couple of my targets that I gave up was some great catches. Uh, it was one of those where you win some and lose some. I feel like I wanted to get the ball out, but it is what it is. But um, no, nah, like I said, I feel like the guys we battered our tails off. We tried to get ourselves back in the game, but like I said, I mean he's he's made a living and he's that's why he's gonna go to Hall of Fame because he's a great quarterback. You guys. It's just hard to bottle that guy up. Yeah, I mean, I think he's a great competitor. I thought we came into the game with a, with a pretty good game plan to try to stop him, especially on third downs by, you know, getting some little bracket coverages and things like that. But, I mean, that's why he has the amount of targets. He works. He's an ultimate competitor. Uh, he made some great catches today. Uh, I mean, hats off to that guy. He's a great player. After all this a week to go, you all control your own best again. Right. You come out of here today feeling pretty good, even if you're not getting the coaches Yeah, I mean, the season's not over. I, we feel like the playoffs have started already for us. Uh, we win, we keep moving. You lose, you go home. So that's kind of mentality for the team right now. What, what, sorry if you answered it. What, what do you feel like have, you have to do differently against Houston this time around? Uh, you know, first off, we definitely going to have to contain 10, you know, try to eliminate him as much as we can from the game. Um, try to keep number four in the pocket. Don't let him really scramble around, make those big plays in the, in the pass game, start the run. Uh, I mean, we're just going to have to play great complimentary football to beat those guys, especially down in Houston. I think it's going to be a pretty good environment. So we're going to have to do what we need to do to play big time football, play complimentary. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's an advantage at all. I think we're still going to have to go out there and play our best football to win the game to get to the playoffs. So uh, I wouldn't say it's an advantage at all. I think we just need to go out there and execute the game plan that the coach is going to have for us this week and try to play a little bit better than we did last time. You, uh, you've been playing with Jarrell for a while. You see him get to 50 career sacks. Pretty right. rare for an interior defensive lineman. What, uh, what's that say about just his ability as a complete defensive tackle to reach a milestone like that? Yeah, I mean, one of the best defensive linemen in Titans football history. Uh, he's a great guy. I mean, not even on the field, but just off the field. Uh, know his family very well. Um, it, it, it's, it's just, you know, when you look at you look at a guy like him who's been to so many Pro Bowls and has so many accolades like that, you can do nothing to be happy for him. And uh, I'm definitely proud of him for sure, and I'm, I know he's happy about that.